Who knows this quickie? There's a concept in cybersecurity known as Kirchhoff's Principle, also known as Shannon's Maxim, which basically states that you assume that a hacker knows everything about your system. Think about when you make a password. If you do something formulaic, like your mother's maiden name followed by your birth year, then if a hacker knows that, he can easily do some sleuthing and guess your password. Contrast that with a Diceware password, where you use dice to randomly select words from a list and then come up with a mnemonic to remember them. Even assuming the hacker knows you did this and got a hold of your word list, he still wouldn't be able to guess your password unless he could somehow regenerate exactly the die rolls you used. That's how all security should be evaluated. If you've heard some schmendrick say he's made this amazing new algorithm and here's some encrypted text and no one will ever be able to decrypt it, well, that's just not how you do things. To properly test his algorithm, he would have to release all of the details of the algorithm, everything needed to decrypt the plain text except the key he was using. Then and only then can you evaluate how secure it is. Like the saying goes, don't roll your own crypto. Don't go thinking you can secure things by making the algorithm secret. That's called security through obscurity, which isn't security at all. Case in point, the content scrambling system on DVDs, which was there to try and prevent people from making pirated copies. It was compromised in less than three years. By a 15 year old. But all forms of DRM are fundamentally broken this way. Since the content needs to be decrypted to be displayed, you must give the viewer the keys to decrypt it, which means their only way of securing things is to try and obscure everything from would-be pirates, which never works. And since they can't enforce their security with math, they enforce it with laws such as the DMCA. And it's even dangerous because it results in them keeping their algorithms and sources closed even to security researchers. And by the way, that was put into the otherwise open web standards three years ago. Meanwhile, piracy continues unabated. The more you try to hide things, the less secure you make them.